The treatment for edema is diuretics. Diuretics are going to help release that extracellular fluid from the body and bring the body hopefully back to homeostasis. Something to know about diuretics is they can be potassium sparing or releasing and that goes with sodium as well and some other electrolytes too. So that electrolyte balance is a fine balance and if you are taking uh, say spironolactone which is a potassium sparing diuretic you need to be very careful about eating potassium rich foods they say don't eat potassium rich foods at all uh, because then you'll get too much potassium and you'll get all the things that come with it cardiac issues arrhythmias you name it dehydration is deficiency of water in the body external causes of dehydration can be prolonged sun exposure excessive exercise because you're perspiring so much, diarrhea, vomiting, burns. That's an important one to know is that you can become severely dehydrated with burns and burns throw your electrolytes totally out of whack. The treatment for dehydration is of course fluid and electrolyte replacement, whether that be through an IV, drinking water, you know. Okay, let's talk about electrolytes inside and outside of the cell. Inside the cell, we have potassium, magnesium, sulfate, and phosphate. Outside of the cell, we have sodium, chloride, calcium, and bicarbonate. All right, let's talk about active and passive transport. So passive transport includes diffusion, osmosis, and filtration. When we talk about passive transport, we are talking about no energy being used, simply passing through. Diffusion is widely spread random movement from higher concentration to lower concentration. So this passive movement is happening with no energy needed because it's just going to the place where there's lower concentration to kind of even things out and that's happening just by itself passive transport. Osmosis is a type of diffusion. So we just talked about diffusion being this widely spread random movement from high to low concentration without any energy usage. So osmosis is diffusion of water or another pure solvent across a semi-permeable membrane. Okay, water, osmosis, diffusion. Filtration is the transport of water and dissolved materials. All right, active transport. This uses energy, and energy is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Active transport moves solutes uphill against the concentration gradient. The concentration gradient, like I said before with diffusion, from high concentration to low concentration needs no energy but active transport, we're going against that gradient. Okay, that's all we're gonna cover today. Good luck studying and reach out to me if you have any questions, you can type in the comments below. I also tutor one-on-one, -on -one, so reach out to me if you are interested in that and we'll see you soon.